हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टारगेट ईयर्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू विथ मॉड्यूल नंबर वन ऑफ आवर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग वन व्हेन इट कम्स टू द इंपॉर्टेंस इन गेट एंड ईयर सी लेट मी मेक इट वेरी क्लियर इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग वन एंड टू टुगेदर इन गेट यू विल बी गेटिंग अराउंड एट मार्क्स इन विच सिक्स मार्क्स विल बी फ्रॉम हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग फाइव टू सिक्स मार्क्स इजिली आपको मिल जाएगा हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग विच इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग वन एंड रिमेनिंग टू थ्री मार्क्स विल बी फ्रॉम You are railway, airport, ports and harbor and tunneling, which we have already covered in transportation engineering two. So, transportation engineering one is of very high priority compared to transportation engineering two. And second important point, when it comes to ESC, right? The questions whatever you have are very simple. Let do type question आते हैं, and you should be able to answer most of the questions after these modules. And on practice, you will be able to score out and out from this ESC part. ठीक है? Especially when I am talking about highway engineering, right? In general. The entire transportation engineering 11 to 12 questions come, okay? 11 to 12 questions come. In that, approximately six to seven questions will be from highway engineering, okay? So let us talk about this highway engineering in detail. See, in this subject, what are we going to study? We are going to study what are the different types of roads we have, how to design the roads and everything, okay? Then why isn't the name of subject road engineering? Why is it highway engineering? What is the difference between road and हाईवे लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस रोड इज अ वेरी ओल्ड कॉन्सेप्ट ठीक है रोड इज अ वेरी 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 ओल्ड कॉन्सेप्ट अवर व्हील्स राइट यू नो द व्हील्स राइट सो व्हील्स वर इन्वेंटेड लॉन्ग बैक इन लाइक थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड बी सी ठीक है थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड बी सी अराउंड मेसेपटोनिया मेसेपटोनिया मीन्स टूडे सिरा निराक टोनिया समवेयर वी हैव इन्वेंटेड दिस व्हील फ्रॉम दैट इट वॉज स्प्रेड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ व्हील एंड द पीपल वर वेरी वेल अवेयर दैट इफ यू हैव सम हार्ड स्ट्रेटा इट विल बी ईजी टू कैरी दिस लोड्स ऑन दैट हार्ड स्ट्रेटा ओके यू कुड यूज दिस व्हील्स फॉर मेकिंग चैरियट ठीक है टू मेक सम चैरियट और यू कैन जस्ट मेक अ पुल कार्ट फॉर इट ओके यू कैन जस्ट मेक अ कार्ट फॉर इट इट डज इंट मैटर सो फॉर मूविंग वेहीकल्स इफ यू हैव सम हार्ड सर्फेस इट विल बी ईजी फॉर इट to be transported so that's why the concept of road was born and it is a very old concept thousands of years okay so any hard strata or surface able to carry the load of moving vehicles we call it as road currently now come back to the present time we have lot of categories of roads okay we have lot of categories we have highways we have expressways we have this other district roads major district roads we have village roads and urban roads and so many other classifications okay so highway when i it comes to the specific word highway right it is a special category of road that's it okay in roads we have lot of categories in that one category is highway and here it has been designed such that a high speed vehicles can use it so we are concentrating a little bit more on it and designing it in such a way that high speed vehicles can access it easily i hope you got it right as it is a recent development we have named the entire subject as highway engineering instead of road engineering that's it ठीक है नाम हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग है पढ़ाई करते हैं हम रोड के बारे में ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ रोड विल बी स्टडिंग आई होप यू गॉट द कॉन्सेप्ट राइट मे बी नाउ इट्स द टाइम ऑफ एक्सप्रेस वे राइट आजकल बहुत सारे एक्सप्रेस वे बन रहे हैं मे बी बाय द टाइम यूर चिल्ड्रन आर स्टडिंग दिस टॉपिक द सब्जेक्ट नेम वुड बी चेंजेड एस एक्सप्रेस वे इंजीनियरिंग ऑल्सो हु नोस ओके वेन इट कम्स टू हाईवे राइट देर आर सम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ हाईवे देर आर ऑलवेज सम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ हाईवे दे आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओवर एम्बार्कमेंट ओनली सी इफ यू आर गोइंग जस्ट स्टेप आउट ऑफ यूर होम ओके जस्ट स्टेप आउट ऑफ योर होम यू विल बी सींग सम रोड्स लाइक दिस अर्बन रोड्स यहाँ पे आपका घर एज सुन एज यू स्टेप आउट यू कैन गो एंड ज्वाइन ऑन दिस रोड अग्रीड और नॉट बट इन हाईवे इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज द वेहीकल्स आर कमिंग विथ अ वेरी हाई वेलॉसिटी इफ यू कम लाइक दिस इफ यू कम एज अ लैटरल एंट्री वो आके आपको गाड़ी लगा देगा ओके सो एक्सीडेंट्स हो जाएंगे वाई Because it is a road which allows very high speed of vehicles. I hope you got it right. Therefore, it is always constructed over a embankment. ठीक है? ये थोड़ा कुछ elevation में road construct करते हैं compared to the surrounding. So that what happens is on this road you cannot have the lateral entry directly. ठीक है? I hope you got it right. समझ नहीं आ गया? So whenever we are talking about highway, it will be little bit over embankment so that no lateral entry of vehicles, public or animal will be allowed on my highway. I hope your point is clear, right? And most important point, remember this: road के दो ही दुश्मन हैं. Road has two enemies. The first enemy it has is load. ठीक है? 
if you are having excess load on road obviously road will be damaged second one is water ठीक है रोड के दो ही दुश्मन है एक हो गया लोड दूसरा हो गया पानी ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस इफ यू आर सीइंग tiny tiny swimming pools on the road after rainy season what happened because of this water improper drainage facilities whatever you have on the road we got our material eroded and we formed a tiny tiny swimming pools on our road i hope you got the point right so road ke do hi dushman hote hai load and water therefore a proper drainage should be designed okay proper drainage should be designed that is one of the main reason why we are always constructing highway on our embankment so that we can have a better drainage facility theek okay? hai and third one to ensure safety against high flood level see this highways are very important theek okay? hai in india roughly out of all the roads we have percentage wise okay percentage wise in kilometer aap measure karoge only 2% of our indian roads are highway theek okay? hai but have you do you have any idea what is the percentage of traffic it uh, the highway consists of it takes around 40% of total traffic yaad rakhna the length of highway is only of 2% of the entire roads in india only 2% are highways but it caters almost 40% of indian traffic right therefore it has a very high importance agar highway toot gaya highway damage ho gaya to काफ़ी खर्चा आने वाला है एंड ऑल्सो इट विल बी टेकिंग लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड कॉजिंग लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम टू द पीपल हु आर एक्सेसिंग दिस रोड्स देर फॉर इट इज़ कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओवर एम्बाकमेंट सो दैट इन रेनी सीजन और वॉट एवर सीजन वी हैव सेफ्टी अगेंस्ट दिस हाई फ्लड लेवल आई होप कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर फॉर यू समझ में आ गया एंड नाउ वी हैव इवन मोर डेवलपमेंट ओवर हाईवे वी कॉल इट एस एक्सप्रेस वे फॉर एग्जाम्पल यमुना एक्सप्रेस वे यू नो द यमुना एक्सप्रेस वे राइट कहाँ पे उत्तर प्रदेश में and when it when you come to hyderabad i stay in hyderabad in hyderabad obviously we have orr outer ring road which is almost like 160 km it is also express way theek hai even the first uh, flyover express way in entire asia it is also in hyderabad from our airport to the city jo pv narsimha rao express way padta hai na so it is also express way here in express way basically what we have it is also a highway but we have different paths okay we have different sections for different type of traffic okay highways which are designed to organize traffic in order to avoid mixing between specific origin and destination we are calling it as express way okay so different classes of vehicles ko hum kya rakhte hai different lanes mein rakhte hai so that the speed limit need not be changed okay you can travel with a very high speed i hope you got the point right and now you can ask me sir what is the speed limit the speed limit if it comes to express way right it is very high around 120 km per hour aap ja sakte ho without any problem when it comes to national highway or state highway it will be around like 100 km theek hai and next we have major district roads major district roads pe 80 km per hour maximum ja sakte ho other district road 65 village roads 50 please do remember this values okay in small exams like ssc je this type of bits do come what is the speed limit on national highway answer will be 100 theek hai so what is the speed limit in major district road answer will be 80 write down one more important note uh, in urban roads the speed limit has been limited to 70 km per hour recently like few years back in 2018 by government of india okay if you are staying in cities nowhere you can cross 70 km per hour in city limits on this urban road 70 kilometer per hour is the maximum speed you can go on your vehicle okay and whatever i have thought you right it is on a plain land okay it is on a plain land for example you are traveling in a hilly region or mountain region okay aap northeast belt pe travel kar rahe ho then the speed limit will be obviously less you know right because whenever you have a steep land slopy land jahan pe bhi bharta hai it could be of rolling mountainous or steep land it doesn't matter definitely aap thoda slow hi jate ho i hope you got the point right so this maximum speed limits whatever we have it is on plain if we are talking about any slopy land this maximum speeds will be less compared to that area theek okay? hai i hope you got it right now let us talk about the development of this roads okay just give me a second let me erase this let's talk about development of roads in global perspective and then i will talk with respect to india theek okay? hai 20 year plans everything will be discussed now now here itself okay when it comes to the first road worth discussing about that will be roman roads yaad rakhna around 312 bc only they have constructed this roman roads and they were quite advanced at that time okay we had large foundation stones at the bottom dekh lena diagram ek bar cross section so this was the cross section of my roman roads we had large foundation stone at bottom just above it we had broken stones and lime mortar theek okay? hai so the lime mortar was added so that the strength will increase right uske upar ka layer tha lime concrete and over that we had large 
स्टोन स्लैब्स ठीक है सो द डायमेंशन इज ऑल्सो गिवेन एंड द टोटल थिकनेस इट वॉज अराउंड पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मीटर्स ठीक है पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मीटर्स टू वन पॉइंट टू मीटर्स राइट वेरी बिग रोड ओके वेरी बिग रोड एंड दे ऑल्सो हैड अ कब स्टोन एट द साइड सो दैट दिस मेटीरियल वॉट एवर यू हैव राइट इट विल नॉट मूव लैटरली आई होप यू गॉट इट राइट रोमन रोड्स वर वेरी एडवांस बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट थ्री ट्वेल बी सी नाउ दैट रोड विल नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड एज गुड ओके बट एट दैट टाइम इट वॉज गुड बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम दे डिंट हैड दैट नॉलेज कि दैट रोड हैज टू एनी मीन्स वन इज लोड सेकेंड वन इज वॉटर बट लैटर वी रियलाइज दिस थिंग्स राइट सो ऑब्वियसली द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रोड टू प्लेस ग्रेजुअली ओवर इयर्स एंड इयर्स एंड वॉट आर द डिफेक्ट्स ऑफ रोमन रोमन रोड्स लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे हैव नॉट प्रोवाइडेड एनी क्रॉस स्लोप ठीक है सो इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी क्रॉस स्लोप लेट एस से दिस इज यूर टॉप ओके इफ यू आर नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग एनी क्रॉस स्लोप द वॉटर इट विल बी स्टेइंग हियर इट सेल्फ ठीक है एंड देन वॉटर विल बी पेनेट्रेटिंग इन साइड ओके आई होप यू गॉट इट राइट तो अपना क्या कर रहा है अपना बॉन्डिंग को डिस्टर्ब करेगा पानी आई होप यू गॉट द पॉइंट सो ऑलवेज वेन एवर यू हैव अ रोड द मॉडर्न रोड विल बी हैविंग अ क्रॉस स्लोप ओके द रोड विल नॉट बी कंप्लीटली फ्लैट लाइक दिस हम क्या करेंगे एक साइड थोड़ा ऊपर रेस कर देंगे वी हैव वेरियस वेज टू रेस टू गिव दिस क्रॉस स्लोप आई विल टीच यू लेटर ऑन वी कैन गो लाइक दिस ऑल्सो we can construct a road like this also you can go like this also it is up to you right there are a lot of ways i will teach you later on but you got it right cross slope is very important to maintain the drainage but in roman roads we didn't had any cross slope that was the major disadvantage of that time and this whatever roman road right it was not laid for 1 km or 2 km अगर एक किलोमीटर या दो किलोमीटर का होता तो शायद हम डिस्कस ही नहीं करते एट दैट टाइम ओनली दे हैव लेड दिस रोड फॉर अ स्ट्रेच ऑफ 580 किलोमीटर काफ़ी बड़ा रोड डाला था इसीलिए वो इतना फेमस है ठीक है नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द रीसेंट डेवलपमेंट्स ओके आफ्टर दैट ऑब्वियसली देर विल बी लॉट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट्स बिकॉज दिस वॉज थ्री टूअल बी सी बट नाउ लेट अस कम बैक टू द रीसेंट टाइम्स ओके कम बैक टू एटीन सेंचुरी नाउ it was the time for trescott and very and one more important thing a question can come that what is the order of this people okay what is the order of this scientists okay first roman construction tha uske baad aa gaya trescott after that telford and then macadam here only you can write it down trescott was a french he was from france okay telford was from england and macadam he was also from england but to be precise he's, he was from scotland it is up to you you want right england or scotland you can write it doesn't matter okay so i hope you got it right a order काफी important hai theek hai in small examinations he can ask you what is the order of these roads first came roman roads and then came tresagart then telford and macadam theek hai why tresagart is discussed tresagart is the first person who has given this cross slope theek hai isne kaha ki beta for this proper drainage purpose we need a cross slope okay how much cross slope is given to the roads basically 1 in 45 please do understand what does 1 in 45 let us try to understand if this is 45 cm it should be raised by 1 cm to road kuch is tarah se aayega okay is tarah se aayega for example let us say it is 360 cm okay just for example because 45 into 2 is 90 90 into 4 is 360 so here you will be getting टू इंटू फोर विच इज एट सेंटीमीटर आई होप यू आर गेटिंग इट राइट अगर थ्री पॉइंट फाइव मीटर का रोड है और थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर का रोड है देन यू आर जस्ट लिफ्टिंग दिस साइड बाई एट सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स ओनली यू आर फिंगर साइज ओके ऑलमोस्ट यूर फिंगर वाला लेंथ दैट सेट सो दैट वॉट एवर वॉटर यू गॉट राइट इट विल बी ड्रेनिंग इन दिस पैटर्न ओके यू कैनॉट एक्चुअली फील दिस वॉट एवर क्रॉस स्लोप इज देयर बट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू मेनटेन द ड्रेनेज आई होप यू आर गेटिंग द पॉइंट समझ नहीं आ गया लेट एस सी दिस ट्रेस्कॉट कंस्ट्रक्शन इट केम इन आर लाइक एटीन हंड्रेड्स uh he had large foundation sto- foundation stones at the bottom upar the broken stones and the thickness was very small compared to previous it was only 30 meters okay and very good thing what he has said is the shoulder is required at the roads okay there should be a shoulder what is the shoulder let us try to understand you have constructed only this roads okay you have constructed only this road and yahan pe structures hai yahan pe structures hai okay what is happening if your vehicle broke down okay यहाँ पे रिपेयर करना पड़ेगा राइट सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग यूर ट्रैफिक इज गेटिंग जैम्ड राइट और एल्स लेट एस से वॉट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ शोल्डर इन मॉडर्न टाइम्स लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड यू गॉट एन एम्बुलेंस ठीक है यू गॉट एन एम्बुलेंस सो ऑब्वियसली हैव टू गिव अ पाथ राइट सो कैसे पाथ देगा दिस पर्सन ही विल बी मूविंग टू द शोल्डर ही विल बी मूविंग ऑन टू द शोल्डर एंड ही विल बी गोइंग आउट आई होप यू गॉट इट राइट सो जस्ट बिसाइड द रोड We have to keep this shoulder, ठीक है And shoulder का slope कितना रहता है वन इन ट्वेंटी रहता है ठीक है 
it will be little bit more compared to that of our road and it will be 1 in 20 just beside that we will be having a side drain so whatever water is there the drainage water it could be collected here i hope concept is clear what was the thickness of the road when it comes to trust guard it was 30 centimeter and cross slope was 1 in 45 and shoulder was 1 in 20 i hope concept is clear next time are telford okay next time telford telford is not that important what he has done is uh, to maintain this cross slope you can say the middle wall foundation stone right it was larger it was larger compared to your outer stones okay compared to your outer stone that's it that was that said he has done no much improvement okay but now we have to discuss about this macadam okay? now we have to discuss about this macadam this macadam has revolutionized the entire highway engineering or road engineering is ka naam hai actually you know the mcdonald's right so similar to that mac adam mac adam it's not macadam it's Mac Adam, but what we have done, we have made it Mac Adam, or some people Mac Adam, we call like that. Okay, so original name Mac Adam, John Mac Adam, if I am not wrong, something like that. So he was the first person who said, "Are pagal insano? Why are you even requiring a large foundation stone at bottom? See, whatever the bottom part is there, right?" It takes very less load compared to top parts. Let us try to understand what is happening. You know the soil mechanics. I hope you remember it, right? So let's divide our road into various segments, okay, various layers. Now, obviously, you know the load will be distributed in triangular fashion, right? So, uh, sorry, in uh, trapezoidal fashion. So the load is being distributed. So what is your stress? The stress is nothing but load divided by area. So if you are taking this layer one, what should be your stress? P by A1. So what is A? A will be area at this part. At this part, whatever part you got, that will be your area 1. I hope you got it right. Now when I am talking about layer 2, what should be the area? This should be my area. I hope you are getting it. Obviously A2 is greater than A1. So what will be happening to my stress? P by A2 and A2 is greater than A1. So obviously my stress C is now decreased. I hope you got the point, right? So as you are taking the bottom layers the stress which is acting on that is actually very less compared to top layers that's why we need strong material at the top and at the bottom we don't need that much strong foundation i hope you got the point concept concept strong okay so let us be very clear if i'm dividing it into four layers obviously the stress which is acting on first layer will be more compared to that of second layer and third layer and fourth layer respectively that's why we have to select materials such that our this top material will be having more strength okay i can say it should have more inks modulus so that it can take more stress i hope you're getting the point so e1 should be greater than e2 and e2 should be greater than e3 and e3 should be greater than e4 i hope you got it and there is also one more test called as california bearing test which i will be teaching later on abhi kyun ye to bas introduction hai yaar first chapter hai maze se jayega california bearing ratio will teach later on it just use the strength of whatever layers you have beneath your road okay so obviously the strength of the first layer will be greater than second layer and third layer and fourth layer respectively i hope you got the point so this was a breakthrough uh, decision which was given by macadam and it has revolutionized the entire world now we are following the almost same thing whatever he has said okay he has divided the road into various layers obviously cup so that lateral entry is not possible lateral movement is not possible so we had various layers the top layer will be my surface layer it will be obviously it should be strong it will be bituminous concrete or dbc what is dbc please write down because you might be not be aware dense bituminous concrete okay so dbc any dense bituminous concrete and next we had base layer and this base layer is also called as wbm what is wbm please write down water bound macadam Okay, or WMM. What is WMM? Wet mix macadam. Please write down. Please write down full form, or else you will be confused. See, we don't have infinite memory. Please do understand. Please write down. Many people they will think, "Arey, arey, to kafi easy hai." I will not forget. But when you open the books before examination, you will obviously forget. So please write down full forms so that it will be easy for you. Okay. Below your base layer, you had this sub base, and then below it, you had this subgrade. Okay. This is the basic road construction which he has given. So 
let me make it very clear that whenever you are talking about subgrade right it is just our soil okay it is the soil whatever you have but the soil you have to select such that it has good cohesion and friction values okay aisa nahi ki aapne sand le liya desert sand le liya which doesn't have any cohesion no the sand whatever you are using for this subgrade right it should have good cohesion properties also next is subgrade subbase on this subbase you will be having granular soil okay just granular soil granular soil means little bit fat wala soil on that you had this base layer okay what is this base layer and why it is called as water bound macadam what is the meaning of water bound macadam let us try to understand here in this base layer what we actually do is we do proper grading of our aggregates okay proper grading of aggregates karenge after doing this we will be adding the filler filler will be sand or clay to uh, attach this clear, uh, filler together right hum kya karenge thoda pani bhi add karenge so that a strong bond is formed between my aggregates and whatever filler material i am using it okay that's why it is called as water bond macadam the main purpose of this water bond macadam is to make it relatively waterproof i hope you are getting the concept samajh nahi aa gaya so what is the minimum total thickness of this macadam road it is around 25 cm and subgrade was compacted and cross slope was provided at 1 in 36 okay very important bit please to remember in tracegot it was 1 in 45 but when it comes to macadam it is 1 in 36 so please do remember the cross slope of your subgrade as well as the subgrade was very well compacted okay road loader leke pehle aap seedha apna soil ko up level kar doge and over that the construction will be happening i hope you got it samajh mein aa gaya now let us talk about development in india just give me a second now coming to road development in india let me make it very clear even in india during ancient times we had very decent road just like roman roads we also have decent roads in our ancient time for example when you, if you take uh, our ashoka chandragupta maurya during that time also we had roads in india but if i have to talk about uh, achievement then when the mogal era was happening they constructed a road from our eastern side to western side and northern to southern side so that the connectivity is developed within the country later on we even had this dalhousy the same guy who was responsible for our railways in india right he also given lot of importance to roadways in india he also had started many road construction all across the india but what happened during the world war 1 was this motor vehicle revolution happened theek okay? hai entire world they started introducing new motor vehicles okay they need lot of motor vehicles all of the sudden and the roads were not ready for it right obviously the roads were not ready for it were ready the sirf bullock carts ke liye till that time but now they needed a road which can which stand up very high velocity motor vehicles that's why in india a committee was formed by british government in 1927 so that in india we can have better roads and that committee was called as jaykar committee because the person who was the chairman of this committee was jaykar and it was named over him as jaykar committee and it was formed in 1927 what did this jaykar recommended how did it revolutionize india we will discuss in our module number 2 i hope you have enjoyed this module if you have enjoyed this module do hit the like button and please make me happy have a nice day See you in our next module.